Hello. Okay, I recently covered Penny Lane, and I've had about a thousand emails since asking for a tutorial. Well, maybe not quite that many, but a lot. So I thought I'd quickly show you how I play it. Again, this is not how the Beatles play it. This is just the way I've um, nutted out my own version of it, so I'm happy to show you that. Capo on the 2nd fret. Alright, no intro for this one, just go straight into the verse. The chords, look, I play A, a F sharp minor. The next chord I play is a D, but you could argue that it was a B minor. I think both sound pretty right. I went with the D, but I'm not so sure it could be the B minor now. And then the E. Alright, so the first part goes like this. It starts on A. Penny Lane, there is a barber showing photographs. Okay. A, F sharp minor, possibly B minor, to E. Penny Lane, there is a barber showing photographs. Penny Lane, there is a barber showing photographs. Not sure. Of every hand he's had the pleasure to know. Okay, back to the A. Then I'm doing one of these. No. So I'm basically going from A to A minor. But then I'm just bringing my pinky up here and playing a G in the bass of the A minor. And then you're just going to run down that bass from the G to the F sharp to the F. So. No. People that come and go. Well, you're still A minor, so you're just going down. You know, having to use your thumb. Stop and say hello to an E. And then E7. Okay, so very slowly. A, F sharp minor, D, E. A, A, G over A minor. F sharp over A minor. F over A minor. Seven here, just to a D and a up down, up down, up down, up, or down, up down, up down, up, whatever. Just like that, before coming into the chorus. Okay, chorus is just G, C, and G. But the trick I find is Penny Lane, hit the bass, and then hit the fifth string. So sixth strum, fifth strum, C. Penny Lane is in my ears and in my eyes. That way you're kind of mimicking Paul's bass line. pretty much takes you right to the outro um, where you've got the key change. So just recapping the verse again. A, F sharp minor, D or B minor, to E, A, G over A7, A minor 7, F sharp over A7, F over A7, E, Seven. Repeating again, A, F sharp minor, D, G, A, G over A minor, F sharp over my A minor, F over A minor, E, into D, 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 D. Chorus, G, in the sixth.
outro, you go down to an E. And if you want to get that, hit the, hit the fifth. You've got to bring your pink, pinky then up onto the fifth string, fourth fret to get that second bass note if you can manage it. Penny It's a bit tricky because you've got to avoid hitting the top E when you're playing your A. So you kind of just have to strum the middle strings. If you can't, just play A. That's it. That's that's all how I do it. I've seen other people doing all kinds of crazy finger plucking and all kinds of strange chords. That's a much easier way to play it, and I still think it sounds pretty good. So there you go. Hope that's all right for you. Penny Lane. <laughs>